Hello, everybody, and greetings from Order of the Grid. We are back with yet another episode where we connect with the people who make difference to society, stand out, and are a source of inspiration to us all. My name is Prathamesh Masulkar, and today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Parth Hindri, who has found his way in the Limca Book of Records and has represented India, para, uh, India in IDM Para Swimming World Championships in 2007 that was been held in Berlin, Germany. Uh, he was been also been awarded as the Shiv, Shiv Chhatrapati Award in the year 2018 and 19. Uh, welcome to the show, Parth, and I'm very excited to have you. Thank you so much, Pratamesh. All right. I'm delighted so, um, to be a part of the show. All right. Uh, let's get started. So tell us something about your early days. Uh, so I was born in the year 1995 uh, with spina bifida which is a birth defect of the spinal cord, basically. And this birth defect rendered me paralyzed completely below the waist. And uh, that is the reason why my physiotherapist, Dr. Sarita Walawalkar, she re recommended me to uh, take up swimming lessons as an exercise for the lower limbs so that my condition doesn't uh, you know, uh, deteriorate even further. So I started swimming at the age of two years and uh, gradually what started as a ho hobby or rather as an exercise, it turned into a passion and um, I started competing in 2004. Um, yeah, and before which in the year 2003, I also swam two solo events, uh, open sea swimming events. The first one was in the month of March in 2003. Uh, it was a five kilometers event from the Sankrok Lighthouse to the Gateway of India. And uh, in the same year, on 1st of May 2003, I swam from the Elephanta Caves to the Gateway of India, which is a distance of 12 kilometers. And for these two events, I also have my name recorded in the Limca Book of Records, uh, 2004 and 5. And from 2004 onwards, I started uh, focusing on short distance events in the swimming pool and i've been competing in the state and national level every year since then and in 2017 it was my first opportunity to represent india at an international level for which as you mentioned uh, i received the shiva chatrapati award and so, that's it yeah interesting so how so what were your challenges like while facing it in, in your swimming career what were your tasks and your um, challenges? Firstly, being differently abled, getting uh, a membership in a swimming pool itself was a task because uh, you know there are risks involved. So they usually don't allow uh, such people to you know gain membership into clubs for swimming specifically. So uh, I had to fight a little bit for that, but thankfully, uh, eventually I received a lot of support from the authorities. And I started swimming and it also uh, took me a long time to uh, learn even the basics of swimming. So it took me around two, two and a half years to learn so just the basics were... and uh, going into the competitive part was, you know, an even further struggle. So I remember I met you in the PTK. So how was like your experience in the PTK? And trained with the coaches like Sandeep sir, Dr. Chaitanya Bade sir, what was that experience like? It was great. It was great. I learned several things which, uh, you know, I, the first thing I would like to mention is that I learned a lot of new things about my own self, what I can do, what are my capabilities, which, uh, and I give all the credit to my coach, Mr. Sandeep Nevarkar sir, and my uh, fitness trainer and my dietitian, Dr. Chaitanya Bade. They helped me to, you know, make me realize my own potential. It wouldn't have been possible without them. So, them as well as the other uh, members of the club, my friends, uh, other coaches, you know, all the other authorities, even uh, the trustee of Ch Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Smarak Samiti, uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Arvind Prabhu, he has been very supportive also. So it has been a great journey. Yep. Interesting. So would you like to share any any specific memories or something like that? 
memories are too too you know too many to count so i'm making memories almost every day so i mean every like... day would be uh, a bit too much but yeah there are a lot of memories uh, who do you admire the most in the sporting world and why uh being a swimmer myself i would uh, like to mention michael phelps you know the greatest olympian we have ever had uh, i've seen his journey the struggles that he faced i think he was diagnosed with adhd you know overcoming the difficulties and using the symptoms of adhd to the benefit of the sport you know that's what in- inspires me a lot what do you like to talk, talk about the guiding force in your career about for your parents coaches or your mentors or something like that yeah definitely um guiding force i believe whenever you achieve something in life it is never uh your own attempts only it is always a team effort there are several people behind the success that you have achieved so of course it's you yourself your parents definitely my parents have always been supportive and always uh, you know they've always encouraged me and also lifted my spirits when i have felt low you know at times it happens that uh, it's not always a win win situation sometimes you feel like giving up sometimes you don't see uh, yourself progressing so that is when my parents have definitely you know supported me and encouraged me also my coaches my friends that have you know uh, my counterparts that ha- that i have swum with that i have practiced with all of them have been very supportive in by all means to me so, so you you also have been re- represented in india in the idm para swimming championships in 2017 so can you tell what was that experience representing your country and was that experience as well um it was my first ever international championship so it was definitely a completely unique experience like i have been competing since 2004 but it was at a state and national level uh, so this being at a greater level it was i mean it was unique i i really don't have any words to express my feelings towards it it was great and so i'm looking you forward are... to having any such uh, experiences in the near future well suppose if you were not been a swimmer then what profession would you have chosen like <laughs> that's it's a good question but uh, i mean i find it very difficult to answer because as i said i've been swimming since i was 2 years old that is you know you don't really understand uh you're not mature enough at that age so i've been swimming i can say i've been swimming all my life so i've never thought of any other uh, second option so if not swimming i don't know what where i would have been today well, in the year of 2018 and 19 you have been also honored for the shri chatrapati award which is for the all for the athletes of the maharashtra how was that experience like receiving that award and what was that feeling you got it was great i mean like an honor the whole uh, incidents i mean when i was when i received a call from the uh, sports office uh i was undergoing a surgery and i was in the hospital i, ju- I had just uh, undergone a surgery and i was in the hospital so you know it was kind of unique uh, what was that call up like was that like a sigh of relief or what something like goosebumps it definitely not a relief but it was definitely a shock because uh, it was you know i had kind of uh, not uh, i did not have any expectations as such that i will receive it or i will not receive it but i was just waiting to see what happens and uh, it really was a shock in a positive way yeah so it was great uh, so if you have to guide any aspiring swimmers uh, like some advice or tips like they want to make their own career in it so what 
what kind of advice would you like to give to for the swimmers at that point? Uh, the first thing that I would want to tell other swimmers or any other person who is seeking motivation or inspiration is that come what may, never, ever, ever give up. Keep trying. If you feel like you're not progressing, then try, try to you know, take a different approach. Come up with ideas. Come up with uh, adaptive measures if you need to. But never, ever, ever give up. Till you succeed. And uh, do you have any future plans or something? Like any upcoming tournaments? Would you like to share something like that? Uh, as of now, I don't have any such uh, tournaments coming up. I am just uh, building up for now. Okay, so before just we leave, like you were being, before you're starting as a swimming career, like you also swimmed from Gateway of India to Elephant Caves. What was that experience like <laughs> swimming far away? Like what was that? Like uh, experience kind of. Like, like I was uh, I was really afraid <laughs> because you know uh, Elephanta Caves it is almost twelve kilometers away from Gateway of India, so you don't really see any uh, shoreline or anything as such. There's just water all ar- all around you. So I was scared, but I think. Uh, I had this thought in my mind that whatever happens, you are not allowed to give up or not swim at all. No, it was out of question. You just had, I just had to do it. You know, I had no other option. This is the uh, frame of mind that I was, that I had, uh, you know, I was in. So I just had to do it. I had to find my ways to overcome fear and uh, I mean, I really don't know. I could just do it. At that point, it took me a long time to believe that I have done something. I have achieved such a feat. So yeah, looking back at it, I am really proud. So at that point that you have also been received the Limca Book of Red Courses, like at that time only you received it? Yes, yes. So how is that like feel that you've been into that award? Uh, again, um, at that point of time, I was, I think, uh, about eight or nine years old. So at that point of time, I really did not know the significance of it. So, it, so I said like, okay, there's a, there's my name in a book. Okay. That's okay. That's nothing so great but uh, as i grew up i realized that it is actually a, a big achievement and i really need to be proud of it you know? so uh, at that moment i really did not realize what it was but gradually i realized and today i do my consider myself very, very uh, fortunate for having been you know been able to achieve such a great feat and that also inspires me and motivates me to achieve even further feats and achievements. Well, thank you so much, Bart. It was such a pleasure speaking with you and taking your time as well. My pleasure. Great speaking so to bef- you too, Pratamesh. Uh, before you leave, like, where can the people can find you on social media? If you have any accounts, like if they want to follow you or something. Connected. Yeah, I am active on uh, Facebook. Instagram and uh, yeah, also WhatsApp. Uh, you can find me by my own name, Parth Hendre, on all these accounts. Well, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook on Order of the Grid, and you can also follow us on YouTube and SoundCloud. Make sure comment, like, and share, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And well, thank you so much, Parth, for everything. I, and I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. All the best and thank never you so give much. up. Thank you so much. All the best and to you too. Thank you. And this is Prathamesh Masulkar from Order of the Great signing off. Thank you and bye-bye.